everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you have learned how to compose a tonal melody with modulations from my previous video. So are you here looking to learn how to compose a melody in the 20th century style? In this short video, I'm going to show you the essence found in modern works and how you can compose one almost instantly after this session. I'm Josephine Cole here. I'm a concert pianist and music author of which my various music books have sold all over the world for many years. If you have bought the Practice in Music Theory Grade 6 workbook and waiting here, you are at the right place. The purpose of my music videos are to help musicians, teachers and students to prepare for various examinations, including the ABRSM, O-Levels, A-Levels and International Baccalaureate. Let us look at some of the points on page 85. In the 20th century, it is a movement away from traditional musical idiom. We look at some of the new developments that have evolved over time, which could include free chromaticism, free use of diatonicism, some impressionist styles, and for idioms, exotic scales, use of various numbers of keys, resulting in bitonality, polytonality, atonality, and so on. So what are the features that mark a work different from traditional work? What are the modern 20th century developments? Most of the modern works tend to deviate from the use of traditional major and minor keys. They may involve some tonal or pitch centers, like in the works of Debussy. Often, the melodies are not conceived out of traditional chord progressions. So you can have the resolutions of chords not being achieved, and these are known as non-functional harmonies. However, some of the composers which are more prone towards the classical styles or romantic styles, they will tend to take a more conventional and traditional approach, such as the use of regular phrasing, the use of cadences, implication of keys, as well as form and structure. However, there would be use of dissonances and some modern harmonies. In some works, the rhythms are freer, Time signatures may change more often and the meters may fluctuate. And sometimes some of the bar lines are even being omitted. You can see the dynamics being very wide ranging. They could start from very soft to very loud dynamic levels. In the works of Prokofiev, Bartok, Stravinsky, it is very common. Modern composers will also be more inclined to explore wide melodic ranges of most of the instruments. Well, some of the instruments may use different type of coloristic techniques, such as mutes, harmonics, glissandos, tremolos, and so on. Here I have another textbook, which I would recommend for you, which is Understanding Orchestration, the Orchestra and its Instruments. Here, a lot of the instruments are introduced with various playing techniques, and features. Well, if we proceed from here, modern composers also shift registers very often to create tension, excitement in the music, and also some new emotional elements. These works can be technically difficult for some of the performers, of course. Last of all, despite the freedom used in contemporary writing, most of these 20th century compositions still contain elements of control. Coherence is established, particularly in the shape, form, and sometimes the intervals used. There's much variety in terms of the new harmonies, the scales, the rhythms, performance techniques, and colors. Let us look at the next page. If we analyze modern melodies, we will notice that there are certain features which are recurrent. It can be a musical cell or a motif, which can be repeated, which can be transposed, varied, inverted. There are also specific intervals between notes which can be found, or rhythmic figures which recur, or a group of notes, or a particular scale, which is not 
a Western scale in terms of major or minor scale, but perhaps a pentatonic scale, a whole tone scale, or modes. Also, works can be based on triads or chord shapes, but not with the traditional harmonic progression. Last of all, there are interesting articulation and dynamic marks, which can show the capabilities of the various instruments. Let me just discuss one example here, a violin melody by Samuel Barber from his violin concerto. In this example by Samuel Barber, the violin part begins with a melody that consists of dissonant intervals. It is then sounded an octave higher. The motive then descends down the octave. In the example by Prokofiev, white leaps are being used with syncopated beats between. Here it goes. In the Hindemith example, the trumpet melody uses chromaticism extensively. Here is the melody by the trumpet. Notice the changes in the time signature. I hope you have learned from this video and already and excited to write your first melody in the modern style. Do not mix too many features in your first attempt. Instead, try to keep to just two or three techniques so as to define your style for each melody. Let me have your comments below. I look forward to producing better videos for you and soon to come the online courses. See you again.